Riddle of the day. Why is Santa Claus awesome at karate? Make sure to comment your answer down below. And then we're picking the channel banner winner very soon. So make sure to comment your answer for that in my Roblox group, Libby Squad. <laughs> Before this video starts, I would like to say that this video was actually supposed to be the giveaway video. As you guys probably know, and you guys are probably waiting, and you guys are like, why is this a different video? But I'm here to say that we have not chosen the winner yet. So we need a little bit of extra time, and the next video will surely be that video. So make sure to go keep commenting your username and being active on my channel. Anyways, back to the video. Hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here and it's awesome me and I'm going to be telling you guys the best ways to earn gingerbread in my opinion and how to earn them very fast and what you can buy with them. So let's go get straight. So first of all, the most easy way and the most effective way to get gingerbread is obviously skating. The most you can get from this activity is actually 160 gingerbreads, which is a lot. You can buy a lot of things with that once you save up, which is right next to gifts, um, you know, to sell more to gifts. And you'll see this big ice skating rink right over here. All I have to do is hop on this um, ice and it'll immediately transform you into skates. So um, this is probably self-explanatory, but um, when you're first new, you can go talk to Speedy the Penguin and start a race. Once you do, you will get 800 gingerbreads for a reward after you complete the race. So after you're done with all the racing and get your 800 gingerbread reward, you start getting your gingerbread the next time when it respawns. Go to the start line and just get your gingerbreads. Also, guys, make sure to watch out for the penguin because the penguin, if you do bump into the penguins, they will knock you out. And um, they're not the exactly nice penguins you would like. Just like this. They're not exactly the um, nicest penguin you would see out there. What I do recommend is you do actually start the race and follow the trail. It will lead you to getting a lot more gingerbreads and you don't have to take much more time to get it. Um, I would rather just get 160 in the full time run rather than going back again and again. One thing that you do need to know is that whenever you're done with the whole ice skating thing, you should add up to 160 gingerbread in total. If not, then there's still more gingerbreads out there for you to collect. So here I am, and I have 160 gingerbreads. All you gotta do is go into the red circle, and you'll get 160 gingerbreads. And that is the first way to get. The next most effective way to earn gingerbreads is to build snowmen. There are five snowmen in total to build, and once you're done building them, you will get a gingerbread reward of 300 gingerbreads. The so next way I really do recommend to earn gingerbread is searching in presents. Who does not like to open presents on Christmas Day? Um, I know I do. Anyways, all you have to do to this one is go to some presents that have search and a search in it and see what you get. After you find all three presents, you will finally get a snowball launcher and a reward of 800 gingerbread. This is awesome because you actually get a toy as well as gingerbreads. Next and last way to earn candy is by going to the mini game, which is located right in this little winter town area in this little shop. But you don't really need to memorize this area because it will ask you to teleport when it is time to feed the frost fury. Some tips about this mini game is that the farther you go into the cave, is the more points you get for the food you get. And also, I do recommend playing this in a private server for it is kind of crowded and people most often steal your food that you want to get for the Frost Fury. Another tip that I also have 
is to learn the patterns and see how they go. On the first one, you should definitely wait for the geysers to stop blowing and then go over it and avoid being frozen for six seconds approximately. The next one is a slippery ice which you cannot jump on. What I really like about this one is you just go on the corner and yes, you will be able to just go over here and it's not much of a slippery situation as much as it was. The next one is pretty much a self-explanatory, just wait for the boulders to pass by and it will be a nice sequence. Again, wait for the boulder to pass by and keep going. Okay, guys, so let's just go ahead and check this out and see the mini game. So we're going to teleport to the Frostbury mini game, and I'm actually having a little help with my friend Raya. She is going to be coming in and going to be only coming through this part, and will not be passing this barrier line right over here. We're going to see who gets the most candy with the um how how far we get so she's gonna stay right behind this little um barrier we made and i'm gonna keep going and see whoever gets the most gingerbread okay this is interesting i'm really scared because i don't know how this is going to turn out but you know um because at the beginning of the cave it did say that we have whenever you go more far further into the cave you get more points for the things you melt but we're not sure who we're testing this out right now Okay, so um, we have a minute and 30 seconds left, about, about, you know. So let's just I'll knock down these ices and melt them so the frost fear can get its food. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. The slippery ice is not the mm, thing I like. Okay, we're, we're doing pretty good. We have a score of 520. Okay. And we have approximately a minute and 20 seconds left, so. Okay, I almost got smushed up by that boulder, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> People get smushed by boulders sometimes, you know? In life, it happens. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, everyone's stealing my food. Why? This is my food. I'm going for the Frost Fury. Come on, guys. Okay. I think pretty good. Um, we have not gotten frozen so far. Okay, that was a close one. Um, everyone, there's like guys that are blowing around me. I'm really scared. I don't want to get frozen. Oh no! Uh, 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 sadness. He's freezing for some reason. Okay, we're doing, we're doing, we're doing good. My score is 1,500. Okay, let's go on the side because you guys know that little trick of the trick. Which is really cool, honestly, because I don't like to slip on this ice. Like I just did, yay! Oh, I just, I, it, yeah, this, this all works out. It just, I slid towards the little ice capsule. Okay, we have about 10 seconds left. Five seconds left. Four seconds left, three, two, one, yay! Okay, we got 209 candies. Wow, guys, wow. Okay guys, that does conclude that the further you go into the cave to get food, the more gingerbread you get in total. Well guys, that is all the tips and tricks I have, but I have one more thing to show you is in this big castle, if you guys have not already noticed, wow, this is such a big monument, <laughs> um, it's really detailed inside, but we're going to see what we can buy with some candy, and we'll see how the prices are, you know, prices, prices, gingerbreads, yeah, you know, can not candy, gingerbreads. So yes, oh my gosh, a neon triceratops. Wow, it looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so beautiful snowflakes. Wow, this is so detailed. Wow. Okay. So here we are in this winter shop. 
So we do have a peppermint disc for 120 gingerbread. We have a candy cane chew toy for 240 gingerbread. Wow. But a holiday breadstick chew toy for 400 gingerbreads. Um, oh, on the other side, we also do have some. Wow. Um, ice cream 1,200 gingerbreads. Wow. Okay, wow. Just really shook here. Um, ice wings 2,000 gingerbreads. Okay, um, this side is kind of pricey because it has more detailed stuff. That we take more time on that stuff. And 1,200 for the ice earrings. Wow, these are really detailed, though. I would definitely love to buy some of these because they will look adorable on pets. And then we have, going on to the pet side, we have a snowman for 2,000 gingerbreads. It's so cute. And I heard if you actually do feed it, it takes off its head like Olaf and it feeds itself. Which is really cool how the animation works. We have a Yeti, which is adorable. It's so big and fuzzy for 6,000 gingerbread. Then we have a Linux, I believe that's how you pronounce it, for 4,000 gingerbread. Pretty simple, pretty plain, and really cute. A snow owl, a legendary snow owl for 10,000 gingerbread. Oh, look at that detail Adami did. Wow, just the patterns they have on it. And then the musk ox for 3,500 gingerbread. And of course, we can't forget the beautiful flossery for 800 Robux. Like, oh, let's, wow, it leaves in 31 days. So, of course, we have a wild to actually get this flossery. Um, you know, you guys can keep grinding. And yes, well guys, that is all for today's video, buddy. I hope this guys, I hope this helped you guys because, you know, I want you guys to get some gingerbread and enjoy, get some new pets from the winter update. Anyways, that is all for today's video, buddy. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Goodbye.